Welcome back to the Dave Knows Comics live stream. I'm your host, David Lee, and welcome back to the show. So, you guys ready for this? You guys ready for today? I know you are, especially if you are here. So, we're continuing now with our greatest comic book television series, live action television series of all time program. The tournament moves on. So yesterday, as I'm sure you were with us, we did the gauntlet match for the best show in the Arrowverse. Today, we're going old school. And because of that, I expect, while well, yesterday I'm pretty sure I covered every show in the Arrowverse, for this this tournament, for this today, for this gauntlet match, old school, I'm pretty sure that we're going to have some some shows that you might want that aren't here. So if there's anything going to be for the miscellaneous tournament, if we have the miscellaneous gauntlet match, today might be the one that gets a lot of contenders. All right, because there's not that many today. But let's take a quick time out to say hello to the chat. Benny Montana, good to finally see you again. Ben Espinosa, how's it going? King Kaido, what is up? Big Blue Attack, hey, hey. Uh, the thumbnail. I, lo I, I love that picture. I think it's a very cool picture. Um, but anyway, so there's, today's not going to be as many episodes, uh, not as many shows going at it. But again, uh, reminding everybody that if you see a show that you want on here in one of these in one of these gauntlet matches that you don't think are here, let me know. And if I get enough of them, we'll do a separate uh, gauntlet match on Saturday for the miscellaneous ones. Um, if not. We're just going to do this here. So, um, yeah. So we're going to get we're going to get rolling into things in just a minute. Let's just let everybody a chance to file in. Hey there, RP. What? <clears throat> and everybody. Um, now, also. So again, reminding everyone, what we're doing is the winner of every day is going into a final gauntlet match to determine the greatest live action television series of all time for comic books. Uh, but let's Vinny Montagna, not that's not today, not today. So just real quick, the criteria though for today's, like yesterday's was the Arrowverse, today's episode is going to be about old school. So I had to draw a line in the sand figuring out when counts as old school. So uh, 2000 was the easy thing. So for an old school superhero comic book show, it's got to be before the year 2000. So 1999 and backwards. That's where we're gauging things on. So that's where I decided. That's what's old school. So just keep that in mind. When did it come out? The first episode, when did it air? Did it air 1999 and before? Then it's old school. If it aired after that, different story. Okay, so let's get into the first voting now. We're going to start off strong. Um, I think this is most likely the biggest contender that we're going to get. Um, it's going to be hard to beat, but we're going with Batman. Um, 1966, Adam West, Burt Ward, Batman, um, it's, if this doesn't win, I'll be very surprised, um, as I'm sure you guys can guess. Um, stiff competition, now I know for some younger audience members, you might not be as familiar with these shows, uh, but either way, try your best, and there's going to be shows from the 90s later on, too, that you might be more familiar with. Don't think they're all going to be from the 60s, also, how many could there possibly be? Um, but... Batman is going to go against, um, let's start this off with some easy pickings for the Batman. Um, I'm going to go with... Lois and Clark, The Avengers of Lois and Clark. Superman versus Batman, what do you got? Time to vote, three minutes starts now. No, Horace, this is live-action show. We already had an animated show program, uh, Gauntlet uh, Match. This is live-action. Ooh, this is a pretty classic. Yeah, it's pretty classic 60s Batman, so... Uh, no, cartoons don't count. We already did that. Um, yeah, so here we go. Uh, and, uh, hello, Horace. Good to see you again. So, cast your votes now. Three minutes has begun. Where do you want? Yo, Lois and Clark. Really? Enjoyed. Wow, really? Okay, one for... Okay, two for Batman, one for Lois and Clark. I was... I Okay. All right, let's see. So... All right, one vote with Tyler Yates says Lois and Clark, Batman, two votes for Batman on this one. Let's see, what else do you guys got? Um, Batman's an interesting show. It's like one that, as a kid, I liked, but then the older I got, the weirder it got, and I was like, wait a minute, I don't get this. Because it really was a cartoon. And one thing that Anna, um, I believe Mark Hamill said, and I 100% agree with him, is that the show is more accurate to Batman comics at the time than people want to admit to. Like, everyone wants to like, oh, Batman, drunk and gritty, that's my Batman. And it's like, Batman wasn't always like that. This idea that Batman was always Frank Miller's Batman or Chris Nolan's Batman, that's not what he always used. Or Tim Burton's Batman, no. He, he definitely wasn't always. All right, so, okay, so we have two votes for Batman, one for Lois and Clark. Well, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, but, sorry, live action, as I specified. I 
you weren't here for the comment for the uh, animated show program. That was a that was a good gauntlet match, man. I'm sorry you weren't there. Um, so anyway, um, Vinny Montana says 60s Batman because I feel like it told a better story than Lois and Clark. That's fair. Uh, Bally goes for Batman too. So um, we're running away with this one. We got um, we still got some time left. So two minutes left. Let's see what else we got. This is another initial voting. Seems to be taking its time on this one. Um, uh, Vinny Montaigne, Smallville came out after 1999. It doesn't count. So that's not going to be here today. Same thing with Gotham. You keep trying Gotham. I told you. Gotham doesn't count for today. Uh, so, okay. Uh, can I vote twice? No. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Good question, though. I thought about it, though. I thought about making a free-for-all and just saying how many... I thought about it. I'm not going to. And saying, like, yeah, free-for-all, just three minutes, and whoever gets in the most just wins. But I'm like, I would never keep track of that, and that would just open up the floodgates for... Uh, that would open the floodgates for spamming, and I don't want to deal with that. So, And I would definitely lose count, so I'm not even going to bother. So, no, you vote once. Only once. Only once. So, still, only one vote for Lois and Clark. Although, at this point, um, I think it's a done deal. Uh, okay, less than a minute to go. I think it's a done deal. Batman's going to win this one anyway. Um, so I, I feel like I could count you twice and it won't matter. Um, I'm not going to count you twice, but still. Um, anybody else? Um, big fan of this channel. Well, thank you, Tyler. I, I'm a big fan of yours. I'm glad that you are. Thank you. Uh, what's the scores of voting? Um, so far, uh, Batman's got a three lead. Uh, any new former fan cast corrects? Um, as I specified, it's a lot harder now for me to do certain things, so I'm trying to think about it. Harry Flynn votes for Batman, and hey yo! Another vote for Batman, and time is up. Batman gets the win. Okay, so Batman, unsurprisingly, wins this round. L Adventures of Lois and Clark. I always found that name weird, because it's like Lewis and Clark from the Explorers. But anyway, I just thought it was a weird name for a Superman show. Uh, out of here. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Tyler. Sorry about that. Um... But we're going to go back to another one. Um, Batman, you fared well against your DC opponent of Superman, but what what would you do against another one of your Justice League alums? Old school Batman, let's see how you fare against Linda Carter and Wonder Woman. Get your votes in now. Three minutes has officially begun. Three minutes. Wonder Woman or Batman? Where are you going with this? Check your animated series, Gauntlet, and I'm surprised the omission of Superman animated series. Bally, I just figured, I thought about it, but I figured nobody was going to vote for it. I tried to make, because there's so many of them, it's, I didn't do, the, I, retrospectively, I should have done the tournament for that, too, because there's so many shows. But with here, the having so many shows, I decided to consolidate it for shows I honestly thought I had a chance. And I know, and yeah, I figured Batman was going to win. But X-Men has a shot. Spider-Man the Animated Series has a shot. Superman the Animated Series has no chance of beating Batman. And it's like, yeah, fine, none of these shows beat them, but there's a chance. But Superman had no chance of taking out Batman, so I didn't even bother. Justice League. Justice League, for all intents and purposes, is a better show than Batman in terms of story. But either way, Batman is historic. It's going to win because the art style was unique, especially the earlier years. It was, you know, beautifully drawn. Um... It wasn't as digital. It had more of that textural paper feel. It's probably the last good paper animation show that anybody's going to think of. Um, anyway, I'm kind of... Let me let me count. Uh, okay, so Horse Bro goes one vote for Batman. Tyler, uh, Tyler Yates goes for Wonder Woman. Batman for Harry. King Kaido says, hmm. Things the big go, hmm. Old song for... But then again, this is an old school show, so there you go. Okay, Tyler Lates would have voted for Superman anime series. Well, it definitely won a one. Linda Carter is very beautiful. She carried the role well, but she cannot hold a candle. 66 Batman. Oh, so Vinny Montagna not going for it. Um, Vinny, I'm going to go ahead and count that to Batman. Uh, King Kaido also goes for Batman. Uh, finally, coming down to that vote. Um, anime series would have likely been Green Lantern. Well, yeah. Okay, fine. To be fair, Green Lantern, I know, had no chance. But I put that on there anyway. Uh, you have a jobber or two in there, so, um, but I was just curious to see how well it did, only because I really liked that show, and I thought it was a very intelligent show, and I just kind of want to, I was more curious to see how well it would do. Uh, and like Teen Titans, yeah, they're, like Teen Titans has a really loyal fan base. Was it big enough to overtake 
the Batman? Well, no, but it could have been. Uh, Wonder Woman. But thank you for checking out the video. Wow, what? what, what? Oh, I'm, I'm paying attention again. Uh, Wonder Woman, two votes. Well, he goes for Wonder Woman. 66 Batman, okay, 5-2, to two, Wonder Woman, uh, Batman to Wonder Woman, Batman's got the lead, one minute, less than one minute remaining in the vote, uh, three minutes, like yesterday, we're going with three minutes, but anyway, so, uh, five votes to two, with Wonder Woman not doing so well, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to wrap this up, time, Batman wins yet again, not a surprise. Speaking of the animated series, yeah, it's going to be very similar. Uh, I feel like Batman's going to be the tough one to beat. So, then the Carter Wonder Woman. Um, I actually think this is a case of age being part of the factor, too. Where I think for any of these, I think how old the, demo, uh, how old the voters are here is, is what makes up a big chunk of this. Because... With Batman, we're gonna take a quick break before we get into the next round, um, because the next, because the thing about um, the voting here is, I think for you to really, really, like, I believe there's a huge group out there who are huge Linda Carter Wonder Woman fans, and they might have voted for ba her over Batman, Wonder Woman over Batman, um, but I think you have to be in that age demographic. If you weren't old enough to remember the show. Uh, as a kid or an adult or whatever, uh, I think it's harder for you to vote on an abstract thing. You're going to vote for Batman. Um, Batman carries a lot of clout just for being Batman. He carries a lot of weight. Um, oh, base up 12. Oh, Wonder Woman. Never mind. Here we go. Nigel Ryder. Oh, man, you guys just missed the count. Ah. Dave, you ignored the Wonder Woman votes. I, you came in after the clock. You came in after the clock. Nigel and base up. Uh, but even even so, there was two votes. If I counted, there were already two votes. If I counted both your votes, Batman still wins by one. So, uh, even if you came, but you came in after the count. You gotta come, this is why you gotta be here on time. Um, the problem is that there's a delay of chat showing on days end. There is, uh, but that's how you gotta get them in as fast as you can. I counted it three minutes. I give you three minutes. Ours, formerly known as Base Up Army, one or one, uh, definitely too late. Uh, Base Up Army, you're definitely too late then. That's why you gotta be in the chat as soon as possible. I told you, time, Eastern Standard Time, 2 o'clock, be on time. If you're not on time, you miss out. Who knows? Because you guys just showed up, maybe the adventures of Lois and Clark would have beaten Batman. All right, but don't worry, we're going to get on to the next round. Face of 12, have you even seen either of these shows? Oh, uh, uh, good afternoon, Flash Ray videos. Okay, good. All right, so now that we're here, and thank you for the thumbs up, by the way. Okay, so let's move on to the next round of the gauntlet. Next round of the gauntlet. So here we have the Batman. Let's see how you fare against yet another one of your Justice League alums. Let's see how you do against... The Flash. This is the 90s show. This is not the Arrowverse show, just so you know. This is the Arrowverse show. It's, from, it's not the Arrowverse show. This is the 90s Flash. The 90s Flash, okay? It's old school. The little bird gets to him. Exactly. And yeah, my brother showed me Wonder Woman. Okay, just checking. All right, so this is the 90s Flash show going against 1966 Batman. Which show do you want to go with? Uh, Dave, what I'm talking about is the miscellaneous ones. Can we put Gotham in there? You don't know that. Wait, how, what makes you think that Gotham isn't going to be included in a, another tournament round? Okay, so one vote for Flash, one vote for Batman, two votes for Flash. Wow, Tyler Yates, uh, two, three votes for Batman. Okay, this is actually pretty close. All right, Nigel votes for Batman. Base up is the, the fastest man alive. That's what the ladies say. Oh, snap! Uh, I do 90s Flash a lot. Okay, five votes for Batman. Uh, King Kaido votes for 90s Flash. Okay, three to five. This is actually kind of close. Um... Uh, Batman, Batman, Batman. And the Wesley ship was great as Flash. Yeah, the show got a rough uh, go at it, but yeah. Um, hold on, let me recount this because this is actually going by pretty fast. But which is good, which is good, fast is good. Uh, Yeah, Batman won. Uh, it looks like Batman's got a score of seven. Um, 
Uh, we got a minute left. Yeah, no, it, it was, it was, it, 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 it sped up. Like, while I said it was close, that's where I saw, like, a big chunk of Batman voting. Um, so, yeah, uh, right after I said that. Uh, and thank you for the likes for this video. Um, um, thank you to everybody. So, yeah, so it's got, um, Batman's got a sizable lead less than a minute to go. I'm pretty sure Batman's got this, because Batman's almost double Flash. All right, that's, Flash did better than I expected, I will say that much. That, that was a pleasant surprise. And I will, I do agree that the show actually wasn't, is like his show was better than it got credit for. Um, Batman seven to two, yeah. The flash votes came quickly. I guess the flash fans are you know represent speed uh, for flash. But um, I had a friend in third grade. Okay, this uh, this all right. Flash, you're out of here, buddy. Fastest man alive. You are just like Infinite Crisis. You're out of here. Oh, too soon. What does that mean? All right. Anyway. All right. So, um, okay, well, we have one last vote to go, but before we get into that, let's just do a quick catch-up to everything that's going on here. So, yeah, um, I had a friend, uh, who was, like, obsessed with The Flash when the show came out. He loved it so much. It, like, it was his favorite superhero. He was all about the show. Um, like, he really loved The Flash. And when it got canceled, he was like, what? <laughs> but it's so good. How could it get canceled? It really wasn't. It was better than it got credit for. And I got to admit, the costume looked better than it should have. This bright red, like, tomato guy. But it actually didn't look that strange. It, it actually worked. Ooh. Valley, no, that's not going to be included here. I actually forgot. I thought about that show, but I, I forgot. I forgot about it until I was looking it up. I was looking up all the shows, and then when I passed on that, I went back and forth. For, I was like, nobody's going to vote for Superboy, so I didn't put it up here. Um, I don't think it has a chance against Batman, ultimately. But that's one to consider for possibly going to the hodgepodge, if we need to. Uh, the 1952 Adventures of Superman, which I own the complete series. I love it. Okay, there's something else to consider. I, I didn't put that on here. Um... Um, um, hmm. Unless, yeah, no, yeah, I was going to say, uh, all right, let's move on to the final voting. All right, two things to think about. Two things to think about. Um, I, either way, a Superboy, come on, like, were you guys going to vote for Superboy over Batman? All right, let's go into the last one. Now, this is the only show that I actually think has a chance against Batman. Um... It has its fan base. It's it is a good show. I do crack on it, saying that it's like it holds it. It's place in it, how well it holds up is for younger audiences who expect things to be a certain way. Um, I think it does do a good job of that. Um, I'm surprised by it because we live in a CGI world now, and some people might find it hokey or whatever. But actually. I don't know it's because I grew up with it, but maybe other people feel differently. Younger fans don't feel the same way. But I actually think it holds up. I think it looks fine. I think it, it works very well. And it's on the thumbnail, so I don't think anyone's going to be surprised by this. So I don't think I'm spoiling it. But the final vote, three minutes are about to begin. We have Batman, the reigning champion so far, going against the Incredible Hulk. Which of these two shows would you like to vote for? Vinny, are you just screwing with me? Um, which of the... And, of course, sp old Smallville is after 2000 cutoff date. Smallville does not count for the old school shows. Um, so, Hulk. Hulk versus the Batman. Get your votes in now. Um, get your votes in now. Three minutes begins. Vote starting now. Now is the time to vote. Uh, voting for an Incredible Hulk only in the entire series. Yeah, Incredible Hulk 2 for King Kaido. As I said, this is the one that I think is the only show that really has a chance against Batman. Uh, Wonder Woman, I think if we had a much older demographic, yes, had a shot. But um, other than this, it's just Hulk. Okay. Uh, all right, so two votes for Hulk. One vote for Batman. Batman, Hulk, Batman 3 to 3. This is tough. Okay, Vinny Montaigne voting for the Batman. Batman in the lead by one. Nope. Oh, Nigel comes in, ties it up again. Batman versus Hulk. And by the way, this is the only Marvel entry on this list today. Batman versus Hulk tied up. Tied up. Look at that. And the and we still got plenty of time to go. Still got two minutes left. Hmm. Wrestling editor. Wrestling editor Adam. How you doing, by the way? Five votes for. The Incredible Hulk, Bill Bixby, Lou Ferrigno, The Hulk. 
Count mine twice for Hulk. No! <laughs> I'm not going to count you twice. Stop asking for that. Okay, five votes. And besides, Hulk's already winning. Okay, so Hulk actually has one point over Batman. Where's 1975 Spider-Man? I didn't put that on the list either. <laughs> we'll talk about this momentarily. Um, I looked at it, and I just said, nah, nobody's going to vote for this. I also thought about the Japanese Spider-Man show. I'm like, nobody in the right mind is going to vote for this show. <laughs> so I said, forget it. There was one I was very close to considering, but I didn't put it on here. Uh, so, so far, uh, Hulk's got the win by one. Yep, what's that? We'll talk about that momentarily. We still got two minutes. Let's con let's concentrate on this vote. Where's Japanese? Spider As I said, I'm not, I thought about it. I'm not putting on one minute left. Hulk is winning by one. Do we have any other Batman fans in here? I know uh, there still might be a couple of you who can still vote who haven't voted yet. Um, Hulk is winning by one. Uh, wrestling editor Adam, it looks like your vote might be the one that clinched this for the Hulk. We have less than one minute to go. Um, yeah, where is everybody? And again, it's three minutes by my count. I'm counting by the thing about how long I'm streaming here. I mean, Spider-Man with the Megazord. Yeah, exactly. Megazord Spider-Man. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I came across it. I didn't put it on. When I say I considered it, I mean I looked at a list and I was like, uh-huh, no, and I moved on. <laughs> Time! I can't believe this! Hulk actually won! Oh man, look at that! Super Pump TV pilot, yeah, no. Things that people would vote for, nobody's voting for that, man. Okay, old school, I can't believe this! Batman, you're out of the equation! Bye, Bats! Hulk, you actually took it down! And in all realisticness, this is a more intelligent show, it is a smarter show. I'm happy.